Hey internet fam, recently I made a 360 video skydiving out of a plane. It was so much fun. A uh, 360 video is this like new space that a lot of people are exploring, but there's a lot of questions around it because it is so new. So I got a lot of questions on how did I shoot it, how did I edit it, and how do you share it? and how do you view it on the fancy VR goggles. So this is what this video is all about. Everything I'm talking about today is the workflow that I use. So it's with a Samsung phone, VR goggles, and then the Samsung Gear 360 camera to actually capture the 360 content. Um, now a lot of these cameras, maybe you can like manually stitch it together with like third party software uh, if you have you know an iPhone instead of a Samsung phone. But I found if you have a Samsung phone, it is so easy to uh, put the footage together and edit it. First step is the V... First step is viewing the VR content. So these are the Samsung Gear VR. This is how you view those 360 movies um, in virtual reality. So of course, there's a lot of 360 content that you can view from the Milk VR library, but one of the first things that you want to probably do when you get these is view 360 YouTube videos. And so you have to download a app for that. You go into your goggles, go to the little store where you can search for things, download Samsung Internet. Once you have the Samsung Internet downloaded, that allows you to type in youtube.com and explore the library of 360 video there and view it on your VR headset. Second thing I'm talking about is actually capturing this footage. When you transfer your movie straight from your phone to the VR, VR goggles, the quality is just insane. Capturing footage on this is as easy as just turning it on, pressing the menu button, going through the functions and landing on the video, and then clicking the record button. You want to make sure that you go into settings and make sure that the video size is the highest quality. Highest resolution will be 3840 by 1920. So the actual capturing part isn't that hard, but how do you get the video, how do you get the pictures off of here onto um, your phone or onto the Gear VR or onto the internet? So the next step is transferring to a Samsung phone. This is the Samsung Galaxy S7. What you want to do is hold down the Bluetooth button on here and you'll have Gear 360 manager pop up. And then on the phone, you want to go to Samsung Gear 360 app, click on that. That's how you connect these two together. Once you're at the Gear 360 manager, click the record button and it'll say waiting to connect. It'll have a little number up there and then you press connect on here. And it'll say connecting to Gear and it's connected. If you're having trouble, you can press more and just say connect to new Gear 360 and then make sure the number on here lines up with what you're connecting to on your phone. Once the phone and the camera is connected, you wanna go over to the Gear 360 tab. It'll load all the pictures and video that you have on your camera. Once you can view that, you can tap a single file and press the save button or you can hold down a clip and then check off multiple clips that you want to download and then press save in the upper right hand corner. Once you save those clips, the clips will now save onto the mobile device tab and you can scroll through what you saved and view them on your phone or view them immediately on the Gear VR. But you probably don't want to stop there, so let's talk about how to get it on your computer and get to editing. I did all of my editing on a MacBook Pro laptop and so what I did is you download the Android file transfer app. Everything that you need will be linked down in the description description below. Once I download that app, I go into the appropriate folder and I just drag and drop from there into whatever folder I want to get editing in Premiere or Final Cut. All the stitching, all the 360 magic happens when you transfer your footage onto your phone. So once you transfer the footage from your phone to the computer, you are good to go. But it's the phone that really does all of the 360 magic and that's why this is such an important part of the process. Once you have transferred the files, you can open Open up the editor of your choice. I use Premiere CC. Import all of that footage that you just transferred from the Android file transfer app and get to editing. Drop down the clips in the editor. Do what you would normally do, but now it's with 360 video. When I was making my Skydiving 360 movie, I basically edited all of it just as a one flat long rectangle. And then once I exported it, I could view it on my phone in 360 or view it immediately in the Gear VR 360. However, the new update in Premiere actually allows you to view it kind of like you would view it in 360 mode on YouTube or in the Gear VR. If you don't have this update yet or you're using another editing software system, something that I used was a app called Color Eyes. I will also link that down below. It is free, you can download it and you can just drag and drop the clips 
onto this uh, app and you can immediately just scroll around as if it's 360. It's a super handy app to use. Next step is sharing. How do you share what you edit, either if it's pictures or video? So sharing onto Facebook is actually very easy when it comes to 360 pictures. Once you transfer that picture from your phone to your computer, it has all of that 360 data built in. If you want to do any editing, make sure to edit in Photoshop and then click the Save As feature. The Save As keeps all the 360 metadata in it so once you upload it to Facebook it recognizes that it's a 360 picture so all you have to do is just hit upload onto Facebook and upload that picture uh, straight onto it and you'll be able to move around when it comes to YouTube and video it's a little bit more tricky just because this is new there's not a lot of support out there and the support pages on YouTube are outdated so I'm going to tell you the correct way to do what you need to do the new update in Premiere does have a check mark for checking this video is VR I'm not sure sure what that does because when I checked it YouTube still didn't recognize the video as a 360 video but maybe I did something wrong or that will change in the next coming months you'll just have to see what I did is use an app called Spatial Media Metadata Injector. It's a freaking mouthful, but download that and that is what injects the 360 metadata into your video, which allows YouTube to recognize that it's a 360 video. Here's where I got a little bit messed up on the YouTube support pages. It says that you need to hit both of the check marks when opening and exporting your new video file, but whatever you do, do not, do not check off those marks. You do not want to confuse YouTube. Um, just do not check off those marks. So all you have to do within this app is open your file that you exported just like a normal MP4 file from Premiere, open up that file and then just press inject. It'll save it as a new file just with that injected metadata. And then you go to YouTube, press upload, click that file and then wait. Patience is key. Once the video is uploaded, it'll still be just one big flat rectangle. You won't be able to move around, but give it about 15 minutes to process, upload in HD, and then you'll get the 360 effect of being able to grab the screen and move it around. Make sure you're using something like Google Chrome. Safari is not compatible with 360 video. Well, internet, I hope that helped. Keep in mind that VR and 360 video is still super new, but it's becoming hecka mainstream in the next uh, few years. So the workflow is probably gonna get easier. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comment sections below. If, if I can't help you out, maybe some of you guys can go through the comments and answer some questions. If you wanna view the skydiving 360 video that I made, I will link it up up here and in the end slate. Let me know if you like this video, hit that subscribe button down below because I am posting every day daily vlogs and all the other stuff that I do. Have a fabulous day and I will see you in the next one, guys. Okay, stay peachy. Okay, bye.